Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 11.2. This is Perimeter and Area chapter of class 7. And the question here is, find the area of the following triangles. They have given four different triangles here and we have to find out the area. Now what is area normally? Area is nothing but this space enclosed by the boundaries, right? The space, this is what we have to find out. So how can we do this? So we can use directly formula that is area of triangle which is half into base into height and then we can solve this. So let's start with the first question. So before that let us write down what is area of triangle. We're going to write down the formula. This will remain same for all the problem. So area of triangle is equal to half into base into height. So we have to find out which one is base, which one is height from the given figure. Normally, height is nothing but it's a straight line drawn from the vertex to the opposite side. For example, this is a vertex. We have drawn a straight line to the opposite side of the triangle this. And this will always make a 90 degree. That is, it's perpendicular to the base. You can see we have given small square figure here, the square. Square means it is a 90 degree. It's perpendicular. So 3 cm will be height and the base will be 4 cm. So we are going to directly substitute here in the for, for the first question. So it is half into base here is 4. So 4 cm into height which is 3 cm. Yeah. So let us uh, cancel the number. So you can just multiply and you can cancel. I am going to cancel here itself. 2 ones are and then 2 twos are 4. So multiply. Uh, so in the numerator we have 2 and 3 so 2 3 is a 6 so this is equal to 6 centimeter square right? centimeter into centimeter is centimeter square so answer for the first question will be 6 centimeter square now let's go on for the second one so I'm not going to erase uh, the whole thing. I'm going to just keep the formula. So in the second figure, you can see we have to again find out which one is base and height. So you can see this is making 90 degree, which one this dotted line. So this will become height and base will be 5 centimeter. So let's substitute here. So this is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by base is 5 multiplied by height is 3.2. We're going to cancel the numbers here. I can cancel 3.2 3 by with a 2 table. So 2 ones are and here 3 will be like we cannot uh, completely cancel 3 right. So three, uh, 2 ones are 2. 1 will be the remainder. I'm going to add this with 2. Okay, It will become 12. And then we have decimal, put decimal. So 12 will go in 2 table. 2 6 are 12. So we'll get 6. If this thing is confusing you, you can do one thing. In place of 3.2, you can write down 32 by 10. And then you can solve it. You will get the same answer. Now we're going to multiply 5 and 1.6. So this, you will get 80, uh, sorry, not 80, 8.0. So this will be 8.0 centimeter square. This is a uh, second one. Let's move on to the next one, third question. So third one is equal to half into again. So here base is, you can see this line is, uh, we don't have dotted line in this case. We have a straight line. This is 90 degree, right? So this will become height and this will become base. So base is 3 centimeter and height is 4 centimeter. Now cancel the number, 2 ones are and then 2 twos are 4. So multiply the numbers in numerator, so 3 twos are 6. So we'll get 6 centimeter square. Now last one, now last one is a bit different one. Now here in the last one if you see, like I mentioned before, this is not a part of triangle if you observe. Triangle is only this. Okay. But they have given height outside the triangle. So even that is also correct. We can also take that height. So what I mentioned from the vertex, we have to draw a straight line to the base. So if I extend the base to the left side here, if I draw the straight line here, this will become my height. It's always It should always be 90 degree with the base. So 2 cm, you can see it's, they have given a small square. This means it's perpendicular. So height will be 2 cm and the base will be this 3 cm. So the, let's substitute in this. So it's a half into base here is 3 and 3 cm and height is 2. So 2 cm. We're going to cancel out the number. So this is 2 ones up. 
this is also two ones are so we left with only three in the numerator and the one so three ones are three so we'll get three centimeter square okay we have to multiply centimeter and centimeter so that's it we have done all the four problems i hope this is clear how we have done you have to understand which one is height which one is base and directly substitute in the formula now in case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment below and i'll try to make a video on it thank you so much for watching